Jesus couldn't stay in Nazareth because although the people initially well warned to his teaching, eventually they turned against him and even tried to kill him. So he moved his base to Capernaum on a trade route and by the Sea of Galilee. Peter had a house there and it's at this house that Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law who immediately gets up from his sick bed and starts to serve them. Now it's great when healings take place immediately, miracles, but sometimes healings take a little longer and that's where a test of faith comes in. In addition to performing healing miracles, Jesus also exercised control over natural elements. There's another instance where the disciples are on the Sea of Galilee and it's a bit rough and Jesus comes towards them walking on the water. Peter sees Jesus coming towards them and immediately calls out, Lord, if this is you, bid me come to you. So Jesus says, yeah, OK, come on, Peter. So Peter gets out of the boat and starts to walk towards Jesus. He's looking at Jesus and there's no problem. But then he sees the waves and that's when he starts to sink. Now, Jesus doesn't allow Peter to sink. He reaches out to him and they both get into the boat and then Jesus calms the storm. In the storms of life, the message we can learn from this is that when things get a bit rough, we need to keep looking to Jesus. As the writers of the Hebrews says, we need to keep looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The miracle of Jesus healing the blind man, um, as somebody pointed out to me the other week, must have been a bit of a surprise to, to the blind man himself because, of course, he couldn't see what was happening. Jesus and his disciples come along and he hears them talking and he eventually realises who Jesus is. Uh, but he has faith to reach out to Jesus for healing. Now, the method Jesus uses perhaps seems again strange to us as, as he spits and makes mud to put on the uh, man's eyes. Then the man has to make his way from where he'd been sitting through the streets to the pool of Siloam to wash the mud from his eyes. But by doing so, he gains his sight. Towards the end of his earthly ministry, Jesus spoke to his disciples, promising the Holy Spirit to enable his disciples to continue the work that he'd been doing, which of course also includes healing. The work continues today and we have a part in it. And I long to see people healed and lives restored.